Side, that's for sure. We had a cloudy, cool day. It was a wet day in some cases. We're going to be dry tonight, though. We're seeing the clouds kind of breaking up. You might have seen that a little bit before uh, uh, the sun set. 43 is the temperature. We yeah, I the did take a nice throughout. long look but at those clouds, dude. Clearing. We will see yep. temperatures falling tonight. Those weren't real clouds. See the radar there. there. Now, a lot of the rain fell in Geoengineering, guys. It's just about out of the picture here. And some of it was heavy, and some of it was not rain at all. It was actually sleet up in Dubuque. They had reports of sleet. Further north, reports of snow. It's that time of the year. Well, here are some of the rainfall reports. Sure. Very light here in central sure Iowa. Uh, less than a tenth of an inch, most cases here. Then you get three quarters of an inch in a tumble. That's probably good. What I like to listen to is some of the buzzwords that he'll use to try to prepare the, you guys for the release of the information that they do modify the weather. Cold and wet. Temperatures in the 30s yeah, So listen right to now. how they word things sometimes, guys. Cora at 34. We got a 40 here in Ames, 43 in Des Moines, and uh, temperatures in the 50s out to the west, where they had sunshine today. Well, tonight, temperatures all kind of equalizing, mostly in the mid to upper 30s, some low 30s up in northwest Iowa, and then highs tomorrow looking at generally low 40s here, 41 or 42 for Thanks to the clouds, Des Moines, though. And only 30s in northwestern the Iowa. The We've got a couple of cold fronts coming our way. Here's the way it looks today across the nation. And we were on the chilly side, about 48 here. The warm weather out west and quite a few 50s in western Iowa. We didn't get that warm, though, today. Day, that's for sure. And over the next couple of days, that cold air from Canada starting to march on in. Yeah, look at that. Clouds. See that? Look at the satellite. Geoengineering, east chemtrails. <laughs> or back it up and look at that, that, look at that again, folks. <laughs> and that jet stream is, uh, we don't want <laughs> to see how it kind of hides it from the at the beginning. And that's going to bring it in our area tomorrow. It's a little disorganized, so we probably won't get too much away precipitation. <laughs> but you can see today's <laughs> rainfall really got wow. going there in southeastern <laughs> Iowa with some heavier rain. And you can see the clouds clearing back to the west. So Stormcast doing a good job of breaking up the clouds tonight, but then they yep, breathe see, after Whoa. Then we get a chance of showers tomorrow afternoon. You guys pay attention. In northwestern Iowa. That breaks up pretty quick. We may have some flurries Saturday or Friday morning. But most of the snow will be gone by Friday, and it looks like we'll start to see some sunshine. Here's the latest snowfall forecast. We've got uh, probably a half inch or less here. I say potentially we could get an inch of snow, but <laughs> more likely that inch is going to fall to our northwest. Just in case they go, oops. Inches and maybe isolated three inches. And some you oversaturate it with their injections of As we look at the big picture, aerosols. We've got a couple of fronts coming through. Again, a chance to have precipitation coming through tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow Overcook the atmosphere and, and the uh, rain and snow. comes in. And this is because the making the snow is a tricky Still thing with the aerosols that use with that. This weekend, Saturday and Sunday are going to be both very cold days. 38 mm -hmm. tonight, very cool. Real cool. Dry out there. Looking chilly again tomorrow, 41. Preparing for that X flare impact cold. And they'll be on the light side. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Snow tomorrow night. Maybe a few flurries 24. still stick around Friday morning. Nine degrees. Saturday, okay. Very cold it's probably Sunday. warmer on the North Pole. And then next week, not much better. Still more mm -hmm. cold air coming in. I do have some milder air, and I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you right now in the 10-day forecast. 10-day. Uh, 10-day forecast Ooh, showing back a bit up. of a warm-up because kind of important days next week, Thursday, Friday, of course, uh, Thanksgiving, and then Black Friday. A little bit milder, it looks like, and the whole week looks like good traveling weather, which mm -hmm. is always a good thing. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be hitting the roads. All right, yeah. Brad, well, thank there you. you go, folks. Coming up.